Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Omni Factory. And today we're getting Creative Tank. So since the last episode, I've played for about five hours. So let me first just show you what all has changed. First thing is I've moved Draconium over here to a ZPM blast furnace. Yeah, ZPM blast furnace. So this is um boosting our draconium production quite a lot. I also moved the the Enderium blast furnace over to here. This is also at ZPM, which is building up quite nicely. I've used about 2,000 ingots in the last 5 hours. I'll show you that, why that is in a second as well. Also, Lumium has been moved to here. This is where Draconium and Enderium was before. Lumium's also been moved over. And then I moved Magnetite, or sorry, Vanadium um, from that row over there over to here. Because I noticed Vanadium, we'd run out of Vanadium basically. Um, apart from that though, all the blast furnaces are more or less the same. Right at the end of the last episode, I mentioned about the stellar creation data, and we need this to launch the tier 9. Um, so I've sent all the tier 2s this recipe here in order to get the 4 stacks we need, so that's that. And we're currently sitting at about 79 neutronium. I don't know if there's any more in this chest, I've been emptying it out into our AE system. But we're almost there, we're nearly there for neutronium. Another upgrade I've made is these macerators, I just made this about 20 minutes ago and these used to be IV tier, the same as all the other machines, but I upgraded both the CEF and these macerators to LUV and this is just for higher chance outputs on things like vanadium, which I was sending through the ore processing and the higher the tier machine, the more chance output that you get, so yeah, these are now LUV. Luckily I happened to be flying past this um, storage monitor that I put down and I noticed our TBU was below 2048, basically the full drawer that's over here. And it was actually, it was going down a lot and if that had happened our reactor would have shut down, so luckily I noticed that. To fix that problem I, no I added two extra CES to the these power lines, but that's since been resolved and our TBU is now on the rise. There's also been another processing array addition. Yeah, it's this one on the end here for electrolyzing tungstate and shelite. This process was really slow the way I had it before, and in fact I think those machines are still set up. But whenever we get tungstate, we combine that with hydrogen to get our tungsten, which is what we send through the blast furnace. But yeah, the, the majority of the time I've spent playing is sending microminers. So if you look at like chaos shards, I've sent quite a lot of tier 7 and 8s to get these chaos shards. We're still missing a few though. Um, in fact, I'll just show you the tier 10. So I've encoded all the recipes that we need for the tier 10. And we're 20 chaos shards short, which is 5 more tier 7 and 8s, some draconium short. We're short about 1000 exquisites, that's good. That's a couple of more tier 5s. Yeah, we're actually not short that much. We um, It's mainly the neutronium we're waiting on. Yeah, for the heavy plating, we're waiting on neutronium for that. We need 84 neutronium in total for this. I've also been crafting some omnium blocks. These are super expensive. Like, one mote of omnium equals one omnium nugget. And then obviously nine nuggets make an ingot. And I've got four blocks here. This is to make these neutronium solar panels. Currently we have the draconic tier and we need to go up to chaotic and then neutronium. And then neutronium is used for the tier 10. We need two of those in total. So in fact, let's see if we can upgrade our solar panels. So we need two chaotics. I wonder if we can actually just request these straight up. Looks good to me. It's going to use four neutronium ing ingots. All right, let's just hit start on that. That'll give us our two chaotics. And then we'll, there's one more step to turn them in the, into neutronium. And we'll obviously need more chaotic cores for that, which is two omnium ingots, four neutronium, and four chaos shards. So not cheap at all. Also 30 billion RF, but our RF has been buffered in this draconic energy ball. It's actually almost full. There's our two chaotic panels just finished. Let's see if we can upgrade these to neutronium yet. Mm, what are we missing here? Some exquisite diamonds. That looks like it's about it though. Just for some more omnium. Okay, let's launch maybe four more tier fives for exquisites. I've already launched about 20 of these missions. I've also launched tier four for lapis. Like 20 more tier twos. Many, many micrometeor missions have been sent. <laughs> And yeah, I've gone through a lot of resources. I think I ended last time with nearly 500,000 or maybe even 600,000 diamonds. We're now down to 268,000. And yeah, I've used a lot of resources. So that's the Microminers crafted. We should see the exquisites go up any minute now. It's just really the diamonds we're after. 
yep, there they are. So, uh, was that enough? Let's let's try and do one at a time then. So one neutronium solar panel. Looks like we can do this. In fact, let's craft the omnium f separately. So, what, 17 omnium? 17 of this. We'll, we'll do this separately and then we'll do the, the solar panels. But yeah, it's been difficult to decide like what what to like show and record and what not. Like I've I kinda got a bit carried away in the last couple of hours just sending the Microminer missions and making little adjustments. I mean it's not too interesting to see that sort of stuff. Or maybe it is, I don't know. But yeah, I thought I'd better like update at this point and hopefully we can get the, the creative tank today. Again it's I think it's mostly just the uh, neutronium. I don't think we're going to be caught out by anything else. I hope we have enough diamonds and stuff like that. Uh, oh yeah, let me show you what I've done over here at our distillation tower for oil. In fact, have we run out of oil? We might have. We have run out of oil. It's time to plug this back in. Over here at our distillation tower, um, I noticed this was this was only HV before, and it's now LUV and. <laughs> Instead of like adding more CEFs to this, because these are only HV CEFs, um, in order to take it up to LUV, I'd have to add so many CEFs, and I don't really want to mess with this line since it goes all the way down. So I just put an energy input hatch here and put a, stuck a CEF in the front. <laughs> uh, it looks a bit ugly, but I mean, after today, this is all getting ripped out anyway. So it does the job. And the reason I had done that was because we were short on diesel, and diesel is used to make nitro diesel to make draconium. So yeah, that sorted itself out, and uh, are you running again? You are running. Yeah, we had like 13,000 millibuckets of oil in here, and it's now gone. And I only upgraded that thing like maybe an hour ago. So the Omnium's done now, let's try and upgrade to Neutronium Solar Panels. Wait, is it crafting straight away? Is this our panels? No, it has to make Chaotic Cores first. In fact, can we request the second one as well? No, we're missing 12 Chaos Shards, and a lot more Omnium, and a lot more Exquisites. Okay, we're going to need some more tier 7 and 8s though. Anyway, there's a, the Neutronium panel crafting. This should be a quest once it finishes as well. There's our Neutronium solar panel, wow. This thing can generate 8 million RF a tick. That's insane. There's the quest as well, I hope. No quest? No quest? Oh, it wants two. <laughs> okay. We'll have to wait a bit for the quest. But yeah, as I said, we need more Chaos Shards, which means we need more Tier 7s. Can we request 3? We're missing Enderium. Yeah, you can see the amount of resources it, j it takes just for a couple of Tier 7s. And I've already sent like 20 of these already. Still got a few more to go, so I'm going to send the rest of these missions, gather up the Chaos Shards, and then I'll be back to craft the next solar panel. Alright guys, so this is the moment we've all been waiting for. It's been about 5 hours of crafting, uh, slash sending Microminers, and we... Got the second Neutronium panel, this will be the quest. Time to send our tier 10. Okay, no, just kidding. I'm out of, like, everything. <laughs> oh, there's still so much to get. No, but if we put those back in the system, I'll show you exactly what we still need. Mainly it's the, these Neutronium heavy platens, we're still waiting on 42 of those. But apart from that, everything else is more or less good to go. I got all the warp engines, the new Universal Navigators. The reactor cores, I got the other two stabilizers crafted as well. These things. So really all that's left is the Neutronium Heavy Platons. And for the Platon we need in total 84 Neutronium and we're at 57. So I mean, there's still a couple of hours left I would say before we can get a creative tank. Yeah, there's another 4 in there. And yeah, we need 84. So we are 23 Neutronium ingots short. But I was able to launch all the... The tier 7 and 8 is for the Chaos Shards, so I don't think we need any more of those. I also found myself out of Sulfur as well, so I've just added some more Blaze data models. We're almost at the cap of, of Simulation Chambers. I think this is like 87 or 85 maybe, I don't know. But anyway, our cap is 92 of these things. So we're almost hitting the cap for this. And yeah, I feel like I've been staring at this screen for so long, just crafting up everything. Um, but we're almost there, just waiting on some more Neutronium. I suspect it'll be a couple more hours, so I'll come back when we are ready to make the Tier 10. Okay, another progress update here. It's been a, a couple more hours of waiting on Neutronium. And uh, I realized I was going to maybe craft another Tier 9 to get these Neutronium Nugget missions, but the uh, 
The tier 9 is pretty expensive, so I decided just to hold off and wait the few hours. I had some other things to do in the meantime anyway. And uh, to supplement the neutronium production, I also hooked up our other tier Mark III reactor. I temporarily disconnected this for nickel plasma as we have a really big backlog. We're like two ingots short. So while we're waiting on the last two ingots, let's send the tier 9 microminer mission. I've got everything in my inventory for this. So again, just to recap, the tier 9, we need to send with four awakened draconium. Stellar creation, and this gives us the universe creation. And then with this, we send this with a tier 10 to get the heart of the universe. And then heart of the universe can be melted into molten creative portal tank. And this is the creative tank. So we use our large microverse projector. I guess I didn't really think about this, but the output or the input had just kind of blocked here. So I guess I can just kind of break that and then put everything in manually and then form the multi block again. And it should run. Are you running? Wow, this is incredibly slow. But yeah, if we check the recipe again for tier 10, we're just missing the Neutronium Heavy Plating. So this Blast Furnace that we were using before for the last Heavy Plating for the tier 9, I've repurposed this, so I've got some Einsteinium in here. This just needs the Einsteinium plus 2 Neutronium Plates per Heavy Plating. So first of all, we have to make Neutronium Plating, which can just be made in the compressor. Yeah, it's one ingot to one plate, no matter what recipe we choose, so I'll probably just throw it in the compactor. In fact, let's just get that started, just so that the blast furnace is running. This is only 10 seconds per recipe anyway, so it should be fairly fast. So I'll put the neutronium in this compactor, and then after this, we'll run it through the blast furnace. Okay, so we'll just do this by hand, we'll just fill this input bus. And it should start running. Oh, I just realised as well, these coils aren't even sufficient. We, we're going to need to go up to the last tier of fusion coils. 16... Okay, we can make them. Yeah, this shouldn't take too long. The circuits we already have on hand anyway, so it just has to make some plates and... Well, I guess the neutronium reflectors take a bit. Oh, and our microminer mission finished as well. So that should be the... There's the universe creation data. So one more piece of the puzzle left. Just need to fill in this blast furnace. Okay, I got all the coils in. Now it's running. Not enough energy. I think it's probably just because I've only got one ZPM CEF here. So I'll just add another CEF on this line. Now it's running. I added the extra ZPM CEF. All that's left to do now is waiting on this blast furnace to finish with the heavy plating. It'll only take a few minutes and then we'll send our tier 10. And then, yeah, the creative tank is ours finally. 40 plates just finished there. Uh, let's not forget to pick these up for the quest. There we go. So next quest is for the tier 10 microviner. So let's request one of those. Should be able to get... Wait, missing one... Yeah, missing one more. Oh no, I forgot to hit record. <laughs> I got the tier 10 microminer. And we're... I've put it in the mic microverse projector, so we're running. I got the quest here as well. I thought it was recording there, but yeah, we're getting the heart of the universe. This is taking so long. I think since last episode it was 10 hours, something like that. To get all these um, plate-ins and... Yeah, just everything here. But yeah, as I was saying, this take this is like a turning point in the in the game because it makes like all these blast furnaces and fluid handling kind of irrelevant uh, once you have unlimited fluids. So like all all of this will be getting rebuilt. It's kind of the reason I held out on optimizing things too much since I knew like all this was going to get ripped out. But yeah, I'll be back when this is finished. It takes like three hundred seconds. Well, there is our heart of the universe, and this gets us the creative tank and also the quest. Although I realised while well, that was crafting, this needs to be at least ZPM tier, and I don't have a ZPM fluid extractor, that's just crafting just now. Strangely, I hadn't made this ZPM pump yet, uh, so I was missing a few recipes out of this, but... Yeah, that's crafting up now, and then... With this, we can fluid extract this into 145 millibuckets. And then using this, we can get a molten creative tank, and this leaves us 1 millibucket extra, since the creative tank takes 144. So we take the one millibucket extra and then put it in the creative tank and duplicate this and then we have like, yeah, infinite creative tanks. Well, it turns out we actually need ZPM fluid solidifier as well, so let me get those two machines. Okay, I got the two machines crafted up, so we need fluid extractor into fluid solidifier. Let's make sure we do this correctly. Also need a pipette as well, I suppose, or any sort of fluid transportation. So we'll grab one of those. We can melt our heart of the universe. And I'll output that to the fluid solidifier and we'll pick up the one remaining. And there it is, the portable creative tank. So first thing we'll do is make more. <laughs> so we can just go like that and then 
take a wrench, auto output. Oh wait, what am I doing? This needs to go on this one. Auto output there, and yeah, this will just give us infinite creative tanks. We can just pick our drawer up here, and yeah, we're going to be using a lot of these, so we might as well just storage bust this. Oh wait, 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 wait. Lock the drawer first. Now, this is not the end. It's not even the beginning of the end, but it is perhaps the end of the beginning. That's quite a nice um, summary of what this is. So yeah, that gave us the quest for the creative tank. The next major goal is creative vending, which will be the end of the pack. However, we are, I would say, like not even halfway to that. <laughs> even though we have like infinite of most of the items now, like all of the ingots, of course, we all we have infinite of, so we can start like tearing down all this. To be honest, I really don't even know where to begin. Like, how do we even start to rebuild all this? I'm also leaning towards rebuilding this base with aesthetics in mind. So I'll probably build it like, well, I haven't picked a direction yet, but I'll probably just pick a direction and then start a new platform. And we'll build out this base with new blocks, new materials. Maybe the start of tomorrow's episode, I'll start a creative world, um, just a test world to test out different block palettes. And then we'll kind of choose how, how we want to start laying things out. I want to have like walls and ceilings and everything and make it look really fancy. I don't want to have just like this flat base with lines and machines, which will add significant amount of time on getting creative vending, but I'm not really in a hurry, to be honest. I'm happy now that I've got creative portable tank. This opens up a lot of options. I think this is a good time to wrap it up. This is This video alone has been like 10 or 11 hours in the making, just waiting for all that stuff, um, optimizing the base, and yeah, now it's time to tear everything down. <laughs> yeah, apologies if this felt a bit scattered, this episode. I was... Basically just trying to collect everything. And uh, yeah, this was filmed over multiple hours and days. But we'll be back tomorrow and we'll start rebuilding everything. So that's going to do it for today. Thanks again for watching. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow for some more Omni Factory.